Hi, it's Steven here. Today we're going to be starting in the interior. I hate. Hello. This is William, and he's going to be my helper today. I'm just going to remove everything, cut open the carpet, and go from, go from there. So, let's get to it. All right, so you're gonna take this. Can you take this? Right, go around it. Can you take this? You see those two bolts holding this thing in on the bottom and the top? I need you to just stick it on there. And... Huh? Wait, which two? So there's a bolt right here. Oh, this one and that one. So now what? So now we got the seatbelts out. Now everything is. Now I'm ready to like putting the carpet in the car. Look at the car. Already? So well, we have got the car empty and everything's unbolted. Here's the new carpet. So gonna now put this carpet. It's from uh, Auto Custom Carpets Incorporated. <laughs> they have custom molded carpets and stuff, and I got the one with the sound ending and everything because I just want the car to be comfortable. So this is just gonna fill in, and I also have the carpet for the back seats as well as the trunk part. But I'm doing something different for the trunk, so we'll see the future. But first of all, I'm gonna straighten all this out and put it and mold it to the car. Let it set for like another hour. So after this, I'm just gonna be chilling. See you guys later. Peace. Bye. Oh bye. Bye, William. Bye. 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 -bye. All right. So I'm dying because that is just really difficult to match up a molded carpet. But basically, ah, this car now officially has carpet again, and I feel actually I feel really clean in here. And uh, before I cut into more of this, I'm gonna look at my old pictures on my phone. On uh, where these where the other holes are before I start just like jabbing away at it. All right, so looking at my phone, I have pictures of the carpet before. Like, that's how that's how nasty it was, you know. Back this is like months ago, but this is how nasty it was. I just didn't want to clean it, so I just bought a new carpet. I just feel so much better that there's a brand new carpet in the car. Now I just gotta figure out where all the little holes are so I don't muck up the carpet. All right, so looking at the driver, looking at the picture of the driver's side, I have to cut out the um hole for the trunk latch and gas as well as all the little um seat mounting holes on the bar and i think the front i can work out, worry about these later but the main ones are just the this one right here since it's right now the only thing keeping it from sitting correctly so i guess i'll just lop off this corner right here <laughs> Oh my god, it's so clean. Holy, look at this. It's just in there. Everything fits almost perfectly. I'm, this is, it is so clean. I love it. Yo. The molded carpet from Auto Custom Carpet is 
solid. It fits perfectly. Honestly, couldn't ask for more. I'm really glad that I ended up going this route because I really just, that carpet was nasty. Like, did not, could not <laughs> sit in it. So uh, I'm just gonna actually put back in the rear seats because those have been sitting outside for a while. Gonna clean those off. Just want a little test fit, sort of. All right, so I may have cut the driver's side carpet a little too much. So I'm struggling right now to kind of just make it all fit. Uh, I realized that I need to have this, uh, the trunk and gas latch button to just uh, hold the carpet in place because I basically cut just a little too much and now it's kind of not wanting to go under the, the trim piece. Right now my car smells like epoxy and all failed. I basically cut the carpet too short along the edge and also all the pins on the door sill are broken. So I'm gonna to put on the door sill, I'm gonna use double-sided tape. That's not a problem, but most of the problem is that the carpet's too short. I tried using 3M tape, I tried using duct tape. But nothing kind of like, the, the backing of this carpet is, is called mass backing and for some reason it doesn't want to bind. So I'm really hoping that the, the carpet tape can connect it together. If not, then I basically fucked myself. So I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go to tomorrow. I just went to Target. I came back with a tablecloth and some epoxy. And I read online that I could possibly bind the two edges together, but I'm gonna do a test today. Tomorrow is the day I'm actually gonna bind the carpet together if this works out. So hopefully this turns out okay. So basically what I did was I read online that you can patch it up with um, MCR, which I don't know what it is exactly, but I set that in and it just became, I got this E6000 resin and they just say to basically to patch a carpet, you would put the vinyl below it on the cloth side up and then you would glue around the edge and then put a blob of resin, um, the epoxy in the middle and put the patch in. So in this case, I'm doing a little differently. I'm just trying to try to seal, uh, make a seam. So I'm hoping that that works. And if it does, then I'm good to go. And I don't have to worry about it. So I'm really hoping this works out. And yeah, gonna let this set overnight and see what happens. I'm gonna do a couple more test uh, things just to see uh, what else I can kind of do. Hopefully it turns out okay. I'm gonna check back on this tomorrow and then I will decide whether or not this will work. I have a good feeling that this epoxy will stick because the cloth is acting as like, just like that little bandage, you know? So, uh, on to tomorrow. All right, next day, about 24 hours later and let's just see how my tests went. Oh. Actually, I mean, at least it's stuck together now, so I mean, that's a big plus. I'm gonna do a little, let's see. Let's 
be going for just like pulling. I think that's the best I'm gonna get it actually. Just straight pulling the this this kill cloth's pretty strong. I don't think there's any problem there. How about this one? Where I think most of that is gonna be intention anyway, so No, I think it's solid. Alright, so if you ever need to fix the carpet of a car, you just need a vinyl tablecloth and E6000 epoxy and just let it cure for 24 hours. So I'm going to apply this to the edge of the driver's side to extend out the basic missing chunk and hope that it stays together. I might cut out a little more and just fill in another piece just to make it one whole piece. But we'll see. Uh, so far, the strip, uh, the strips of carpet I have are in like maybe three pieces, so not the most preferable thing. But uh, that's all I really have right now. All right. So now I'm gonna take the strip that I just cut out and use it as a reference, so I can kind of fit. A nice perfect piece onto this cut sheet and then after that I'm gonna, then I'm gonna take some epoxy and vinyl to mend it all together from my test this should work even though it's not a perfect seal it should keep the pieces together because it's actually pretty the vinyl is actually pretty strong I just needed to hold the carpet in place uh, I will actually cut another piece of vinyl for the back of this and use the epoxy one more time just to be safe and not so it just doesn't fall apart on me just in case the vinyl that I use the vinyl and epoxying that I just did just now is not enough uh, Next video is going to be mostly again about the interior this in this carpet was to be done yesterday as well as the interior, but I Messed up and it's not one of my videos if I don't mess up so This week is mostly going to be about the interior because I really want to finish it just because if you look over there All my stuff all the stuff all the interior of the car is right there So I really got to get that cleaned up. It's taking up a lot of space. Hope you enjoyed the video If you like the video give it a like if you dislike the video give it a dislike Subscribe and if you want to see more live updates on this stuff follow me on Instagram at Chewy Bar And yeah, that ends the video. Thanks for watching. Bye